Hello, this is Edward from Valarm. In this video, you'll see how to use Valarm for remote environmental monitoring. There are thousands of sensors compatible with Valarm monitoring solutions. In this video, we'll focus on air quality and sensors for volatile organic compounds, or VOCs. What you're seeing here is a Valarm compatible Yoctopus VOC sensor. Perhaps you need to monitor air quality indoors or outdoors. With Valarm, you can literally monitor anything, anywhere. In this demo setup, you see a Sony Android device running the Valarm Pro app, a Yoctopus USB VOC sensor, and a Valarm OTG plus charging Y cable that allows an Android device to talk to external sensors at the same time as charging. First, we'll plug the Valarm Y cable into the power source, then the VOC sensor, and last, into the Valarm connector hardware. When the sensor is detected, you'll be asked if you want to launch the Valarm app. Click OK to launch the app, then use your device's menu button to go to All Settings, then Yoctopus, then VOC, and CO2. Be sure to enable Yoctopu sensors at the top of the screen if you haven't already. Then you can click Scan All to verify all of your sensors are properly connected. You can see the VOC VPPM values are being reported, so we'll turn on the VOC sensor in order to have its values reported to the Valarm Tools cloud. Now I'll breathe some of my volatile organic compounds from my mouth onto the sensor. Scanning the sensor values now reports a much higher value of VOCs. Time to brush my teeth. Note that you can also set high and low threshold values using the sliders for any sensor. Now go back to the all settings screen and turn on the interval timer. This tells Valarm to gather all sensor values at the custom time interval you set. For example, every 60 seconds or every hour. Your last step is to turn on Valarm Web Integration and link the device to the tools.valarm.net website. Then we'll be able to map, graph, analyze, and download all of the sensor data from the Valarm Tools cloud. Use your Valarm Tools login info and then your geotag sensor data will all be uploaded to the cloud in real time. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this, Watch Valarm's YouTube video tutorial on linking devices to the web. We've got everything configured. Now we're ready to arm Valarm by clicking arm on the app's home screen. Now that Valarm has been deployed and armed, the sensor data is being sent in real time to the Valarm Tools Cloud website using the device's internet connection, 3G, 4G cell network, Wi-Fi, or any other internet connection. I'll affect the VOC air quality sensor readings here by putting my toxic breath into the VOC sensor. At any moment, you can see your real-time Valarm sensor data on any computer connected to the internet by simply logging into your account at tools.valarm.net. Once you're logged in, go to your device in the device manager to see your latest geotagged sensor data. Here you'll see the latitude and longitude coordinates associated with every sensor reading. In this case, you see sensor data collected every three seconds. Click Graph Sensors, then check your sensors of interest to see an interactive graph of your sensor data. Hover your mouse over the graph to see exact values at that point. See Valarm's other videos to learn how to export your sensor data in 3D formats like KML. Here is some sample Valarm VOC data gathered from the roof of a public transit bus driving its route around Los Angeles, California. All of your geotagged sensor data is available here, and the heights of each data collection point are the VOC air quality sensor reading for that location. Now you know how easy it is to deploy Valarm's real-time mobile sensors for remote environmental monitoring. So get out there and do it. Don't hesitate to contact us at info at 
if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for another video.